Hi there, this is Ed Herzog and today I'm going to show you the Stratum Mega Menu by Motopress. This is a WordPress plugin that you can use to create mega menus within Elementor. Now I want to mention that although I'm only going to be focusing on the Stratum Mega Menu in this video, Motopress has other plugins for Elementor as well as other plugins and themes for WordPress. Motopress is best known for their popular hotel booking plugin. Now if you want to check out the Stratum Mega Menu plugin for Elementor or any of the other Motopress products, I'll put a link to their website down in the video description below. Now, let's take a look at the Strata Mega Menu by Motopress. So let's first take a look at some of the features of the Strata Mega Menu. So if I scroll down here, you see you can create a horizontal menu, or if you prefer, a vertical menu. Here you see it's built for Elementor. You can use any widget from Elementor in your submenus. You have menu icons and tags. You have extensive styling options. You can create a hamburger mobile menu and you have animation effects. I come down here, you have blog posts, shop items, and you put other things in your mega menu as well. And finally down here you see that it integrates with popular plugins such as WooCommerce. So let's take a look at some examples of some horizontal mega menus that were created using the Strata mega menu plugin. So we see here drop down, lists, portfolio, blog, shop, tab, icon box, and contact. Now those are just examples. Again, you can integrate any widget from Elementor within your mega menus using the Strata Mega Menu plugin. And again, as we just saw, you can create some very nice looking mega menus using this plugin. Now let's take a look at some vertical mega menus that were created using the Stratum Mega Menu plugin. Now even though these are labeled widgets one through six, what you're going to see here is that these are six different styles. So widgets one, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, what you see there is you can create some very nice looking vertical mega menus using the Strata Mega Menu plugin. So what I want to do now is I want to show you how to create a mega menu using the Strata Mega Menu plugin. And as you can see here, I have the plugin loaded on my website. So I'm going to come up here to Appearance and then click on Menus. So now at this point, I have two choices. I can either select a menu to edit if I already have a menu created that I want to use, or I can create a new menu. Now in this case, as you can see, I already have a menu that I created just for the purposes of this demonstration. So I'm going to scroll down here and show you what it looks like and show you what I've done. So you see here, first of all, I have a main category called Elementor Reviews. Then under that, I have a category, a subcategory called Theme Reviews with four themes. Another subcategory called Add-on Reviews with four different add-ons. And finally, Elementor Versus with Elementor Versus Other Page Builders. And then down here, I have another main category called About. Now you may be wondering, why did I build out all this here, but only have a single link here? So here's the difference. For this part here, for this first part under Elementor Reviews, I'm only going to be using links. I'm not going to be using any Elementor widgets within this first part. For this here, I'm going to be building this part within the Strata Mega Menu Builder that connects with Elementor. So I'm going to be using Elementor widgets for this part here. So that is the difference. So you need to plan this out ahead of time. If you want part of your mega menu or all of it to be just widgets, then you're going to add it right here. So you can, here I've just used custom links because none of this is actually on my website. I just added these for the purposes of this demonstration. But you know, you'll probably be adding things from over here, adding in blog posts, pages, etc. And then you can, you know, if you've never done this before, it's very easy. You can move these up and down, move them sideways, however you want to make your menu, you know, to structure it the way you want. Again, that's if you're only using a link-based menu. Or again, part of it can be link-based and part of it, as I've done here, can be based on Elementor widgets. And again, this part here, where I'm going to be using the, uh, the Strata Mega Menu Builder, which connects with Elementor, I'm going to be adding in Elementor widgets. So for this, this part here, I don't need, or actually don't want to build out the menu the way I did here. So hopefully that distinction is clear to you. So as you can see, now I'm back in my WordPress dashboard. And what I want to do now is I want to access the Elementor Theme Builder. Now that's because I have access to Elementor Pro. In that case, I can use the Strata Mega Menu widget within the header that I'm going to create here in the Elementor Theme Builder. If you don't have access to the Theme Builder, if you don't have Elementor Pro, then you can drag and drop the widget on any page or post, however you want. But here, in this case, I'm going to use the Theme Builder. So I'm going to come up here to Templates and then click on Theme Builder. So I want to add the mega menu into my header. So I'm going to create a new header here. So I'll click on add new and then header. And then I'm going to go with a blank header. So I'm going to click here on this X 
And now I have this blank space here. I'm going to go ahead and add in three sections. And then I'm going to come here and look for the Mega Menu widget. There it is. I'm going to drop this into the middle section. And then I have to select my menu. So I'm going to go right there with the Strata Mega Menu. And there I have it. Now, again, I only have two links here, as you saw, but right there is the link-based one. And then this one here, it doesn't do anything right now because I haven't actually added any Elementor widgets in there. But this is what it looks like to begin with. But we haven't done any styling yet. We still need to style this. And now let me show you how to style the Mega Menu. So in terms of styling my Mega Menu, there are two places in which I can do that. One is obviously over here in the widget itself. So I have some options here as well as some style options here. The other is back here in the WordPress dashboard, again, under the menu section. I can expand each one of these here. And when I do, you'll see that I have options here. So first of all, I can change the item color. I can change the icon type. I can choose an icon right there. I can change the icon color, add badge text, change the badge color, and the badge background. So let's play around with these here a little bit first and see what they do in terms of changing the look and feel of my mega menu. So let's start by changing the item color. Now what that's going to do is going to change the color of the link itself. If you remember that was a purplish color, so let me just click there and change it to black. And then here I can change the icon type either from the icon library or custom SVG. In this case I'll stay with the icon library. And then here I can select the icon that I want to use. In this case, I'm just playing around with this, so I'm just going to randomly pick one. So I'll just scroll down there and we'll go with this one right here. And I can select a color for it. Uh, let's make it a grayish color. Then here for the badge text, what you can do with this is to highlight something. So you might want to put in the word like new or coming soon, something like that that will grab the attention of a particular item within your mega menu. So let's go ahead and put in new and want the badge color to kind of contrast with the main color we have up there that black so let's go with red and for the badge background let's go ahead and go white and oops, save that and we'll go back over to the theme builder and take a look at what this looks like so now I'm back in the theme builder of Elementor and you can see that all the changes I made back in the menu section of WordPress have been successfully applied here. So we have our icon, which is gray. We have our black link now that says Elementor Reviews. And we have our red badge that says New. Now we don't see the background color there because obviously I chose a white background, which right now is also the color of the header background. So that doesn't show up, uh, but that's okay. You know, I'm just playing around with this showing you how to do this and how to set this up. And what you will see here, if I hover over that, none of the rest of this has changed because I didn't go back. You know, I only changed it for that very first link. As far as I know, you have to change every single link individually. And so I don't think there's a way to apply change or to make changes for one link and then apply it to other links. So you will have to go through and do this individually from what I've seen. So let's come back over here. And as I just said, what we just did here for the Elementary Reviews link, changing the item color, adding icon, an icon color, badge text, badge color, badge background, you can do for every single one of these links here. Again, I'm not going to go through and do that in this particular demonstration. I just want you to know that you can do that. And again, you obviously pick what you want in terms of colors, icons, badge text, etc. And some of these you don't have to change. You know, if you like the colors you already have, or if you don't want to use, use a badge text, if you don't want to use an icon, that's fine as well. You know, choose what you want for your particular mega menu. So let's take a look at this about link. So as I mentioned earlier on for the about link, I'm not going to build up the content the way I did here for the Elementor Reviews link. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to build the content for this particular link within Elementor itself. So let me show you how to do that. What I'm going to do again is I'm going to expand that right there. And again, I can change these things. So again, just to make it consistent, I can give that a black color right there. And you know, if I want to, I can go to an icon. Again, <laughs> make it a hotel icon. Uh, and you know, again, it was a grayish color, not exactly the same. Again, if I was doing this for real, I'd make sure they're the same. But I'm again just playing around and showing you what you can do with this. But what we want to do now is we want to come down here and click on Enable Mega Menu. We did not do that for these ones up here. You do not want to do that for these here, where you have it built out just as links. So we enable that. And then we click on Edit Mega Menu. So you see that I'm now within the Elementor page builder. Then I have access to all the different features that I would use to create anything within Elementor. And I have access to all the different widgets, the basic widgets, 
whether they're pro widgets, whether they're widgets from an add-on that I have access to, I can use all of these different features to create my Meg menu and make it look the way I want to. So let's start by adding a little structure here. So I'll click on that and go ahead and make it a two column layout. And again, you see here that I can edit the section right there. I can edit columns just like you would with anything within Elementor. So let me go ahead and put some placeholder content in this. So come over here and drop a heading in right there. Come over here and do the same. And drop an image in here. And put text over here. Okay, so we've got some placeholder content so we can take a look at what this looks like. I'm not going to go through and style this. Again, that's not the purpose of this demo. The purpose is just to show you how to do it. But as I already mentioned, you have access to anything else you would have access to within Elementor itself. So again, I can change everything about this header the same way I would if I was creating a page within Elementor. So again, I can change the text, change the orientation. I can come in here, change the color. Etc. So again, you're using Elementor here to build your mega menu using the Stratum Mega Menu plugin. So I'm going to come down here and click on Update and close out of this and come down here and click on Save Menu. Now I'll go ahead and head back to the Theme Builder and take a look at what this looks like. Now you may recall there are also styling options within the widget itself. So if I come up here and click on that, First of all, I can select a different menu. If I want to use a different menu that I created over here, I can do that right here. Next, I can change the layout. So I can change from horizontal to vertical. Again, I'd want to change other things probably within my page, but I can very easily do that right here. And then finally, I can change the animation. Either go with none, fade, move up, move right, move down, or move left. So now let's take a look at the style tab. So I come up here, click on that. And what I'm going to show you here, there are a lot of options for styling your mega menu right here within the widgets. And I'm not going to go over these in detail, but I'm going to give you a basic overview here. So first of all, you have options for the menu itself. So you can change the width, padding, border type, border radius, background type, box shadow, alignment. Come down there to item style first level. You've got padding, box shadow, typography, alignment, uh, options for normal and hover, text color, background type, uh, etc. And then you'll get the same thing here for item style for the nested levels. For icon style, again, you can change the spacing, change the alignment, change the size, have different options for normal and hover. You can uh, style the arrow. So again, padding, spacing, alignment, size, border type, border radius, and again, different options for normal and hover. Then you have the badge style. So again, badge style for the first level. Padding, margin, box shadow, border type, border radius, typography, color, and background type. For the nested level, for the badge style, again, you'll see the same things right here. For the drop down style, you can change the width, padding, margin, border type, border radius, background type, and box shadow. And then you have options here for the nested levels. And, oops and for the mega menu. So you can turn the drop down style for the mega menu on or off and you can adjust the, uh, adjust the margin. Then finally you have your responsive settings. So come down here and you can show the hamburger icon, hamburger menu, you can turn that on or off. You can change the breakpoint, change the alignment, overlay color, padding, margin, icon size. And again, you've got some different options here for normal and active. Uh, and you can change the icon color, background color, and then change the actual icon itself. So again, a lot of options here within the widget to style your mega menu for the Stratum Mega Menu plugin. Then here under the advanced tab, you'll see the same options that you would for any Elementor widget. So again, you've got your margin, padding, Z index, uh, CSS options, motion effects, background, border, mask, uh, positioning, responsive attributes, and custom CSS. So again, this is a regular widget like any other widget that you would find within Elementor. And again, this gives you a lot of different styling options to create your mega menu. Now I wanna finish up by showing you the pricing for the Stratum mega menu for Elementor. So you see here it's $29 for a single site. That's a yearly price. So you pay that every single year that you wanna to continue to use the Stratum mega menu. Or for unlimited sites, it's $59 a year. The other option, if I scroll down here a little bit, is that you get it free with a membership. So again, as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, Motopress does have other products for Elementor as well as WordPress. So if you join their membership plan, 
then you get this particular product for free within the membership. So that is my demonstration of the Stratum Mega Menu. If you're looking for a plugin to create a mega menu within Elementor, then this is one that you should definitely check out. As you can see, you can easily create very nice looking mega menus using the Stratum Mega Menu plugin, and the price is quite affordable. If you want to check it out for yourself, remember there will be a link in the video description below. If you have any questions before you purchase the Stratum Mega Menu, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.